You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. It's you, Unyeze. Someone needs to tell the truth. What truth? What they are saying is not true. You need to give this message to those who care so that they will not move to the side of falsehood. It was a dream. It just didn't look like one. And you cannot remember anything he said to you? He talked about truth and falsehood. But he wasn't coherent enough for me to understand him. Hmm. I remember what my grandmother told me a long time ago. She said that anyone who dies in the hands of the gods will forever be caged in the underworld. And what does that mean? According to her, she means that such a person will never get the chance of returning to this world for any reason. That can only mean one thing in this case. That the gods did not take the king's life. If not, he wouldn't have appeared to me. And that is the truth and falsehood he spoke about. I have always known that my father's death was a natural one. The gods never in any way had a hand in his death. And this confirms it. They have already gotten someone else from whom Apale village that they want to crown as the king. They have been too quiet about this matter and it is not good. I cannot fight them. You cannot fight them. But you will allow them to take the throne from you. They cannot. That is what I like to hear. But I would prefer you to talk to me about the exact plans you have towards that. My prince, as I speak with you, everyone is already believing that the king died in the hands of the gods. And that is already moving them to their side. My father died a natural death. Oh, Hamadi K assured me of that. You went to Hamadi K? Yes. Good one. Now tell me, my prince. What solutions did he provide? You have to be strong and remember all the teachings given to you by your father. Keep that in mind at all times. But then, you must allow the gods to fight their own battle. Well, he did not provide any tangible solution. But from his words, I know what I must do. Ago! <laughs> Ago! Eh? 55 elephant tusks. Eh? <laughs> I bet he will not be able to finish the money. He will realize from this contract all his life. <laughs> Even in the life beyond. <laughs> Con <laughs> Congratulations, my brother. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm sure being your in-law brought that luck to me. Why are you saying that? No, 
you are a lucky man and that is why I have you. Ago! <laughs> Ago! Uh, you mean you will now be spending all your days in Oka Kingdom eh? doing great business of elephant tusks with the royal family? <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not supposed to be that way. I am not leaving my kingdom for anything. The gods of this land have decided to bless me with their contract. I just wish this happened at a better time, not when this kingdom is in such a mess. That way, our joy would have been complete. Better live than never. Oh, well. Well, you don't have to bother yourself, my brother. Enjoy the blessings of the gods. <laughs> okay. What are you going to do now they are demanding the offer of an Enugu from you? I believe my father prepared me for this period. Yes. And I'm on top of it. You, you don't need to bother yourself. Come on, enjoy yourself. The boat would Son, as some elders are going, I know a time shall come when they will be clamoring for this throne. When that time comes, and I am no more, do everything that fight them. No one, no one sits on the throne of an Enugu without this offer. So when that time ever comes, take this offer to the deity of the land, the deity of an Enugu kingdom. Leave it there for four days. Then, challenge those clamoring for it to go there and pick it up. If they do, do not challenge them. Leave them with the throne, knowing that the gods of the land are behind them. But if they fail, go back there and pick it. Hold it firm and defend the throne. We'll be behind you to support you. Just like my father predicted, some men are after the symbol of authority. I have no option than to heed to my father's words. I shall leave the symbol of authority here. And if anyone picks it up from here, I shall submit to his authority. This is my vow. And I am committed to it. Do you know exactly why you are here? I am surprised that you are asking me this question, Jay. 
because the messenger that came to me said, you ask him to tell me to serve it myself before you people here. Was there any part of that message that the messenger did not deliver properly that you didn't understand? Or does it mean you didn't get what the messenger said? That the people of our land asked me to submit the symbol of authority here. I think I got that clearly. So where is the symbol of authority? Where is that of for an Enugu in your possession that we ask you to bring? Or have you started to hide your for inside your body? Contrary to the tradition that you should hold your for in your hand. Where is the for? I hope you understand that the symbol of authority is not supposed to lead the royal family. Which makes me wonder why you have asked me to submit you here. Listen, nobody care. There is no time for this drama of yours. And I'm asking you to quit from performing it. The gods of this land rejected your father. And they rejected you by extension. And that is because of the abomination your father tried to commit when he attempted to change the age-long tradition of this kingdom. <clears throat> he had no right to attempt what he attempted. Now, why are you here without your father? You have no right whatsoever to hold on to that sacred authority no, no, no. of our ancestors. No, no, no. So I'm asking you again, where is your father? Mm -hmm. I will not argue with you, Nche. I won't. But I want you to know one thing. That this problem you are causing in our land will be judged by these same gods that you claimed rejected my father and I. Hey, what? Are you hearing this young man? Are you hearing him? Are you challenging the authority of the men in Council of Anenugu? Are you? For your information, your four as we return to the deity of our land. You have four days. Four days to go to the shrine and pick it up. But if after four days you fail to do so, then it signifies that all your claims are false. Four days. Remember that. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. Four days. We should have known what that man of grief is capable of doing. Yes. I have always known that things will not go smoothly with that foolish elder behind him. Is this not the reason why I insisted or got him by our side? Mm -hmm. Imagine how well it would have gone if uh, it, the prince is all alone in this. Yes. Listen, elders. We didn't start this process for us to lose in the middle of nowhere we have a man we want to sit on that throne and that is what must happen but that cannot happen mm. without Ovo Ugebuzo you know it that we cannot do it without Ovo I mean we dare, we dare not go close to uh, the shrine of Ovo I for one will certainly not nobody is talking about going to the shrine of Ovo you see that trap he set, he is the one that will fall into it. Yeah. After all, our new king, he does not need that contaminated offer to assume position as the new king of this kingdom. Ah. Did you say contaminated? That is what the staff has become. What we need to do is to create a new offer for our new king 
so that he can start on a fresh note. <laughs> the master planner is I believe it is our fight. This kingdom belongs to us, the younger ones. And that is why we must stand solidly behind Prince Obidike. Because just like the father, Prince Obidike has the interest of the people at heart. Of course. We all know that an apple doesn't fall too far from the tree. As for me, you all know me now. Anime we walk on. Anime we walk on Mana. This fight is a good fight. I'm ready to fight it. Yes, you I believe in King Eze Akajiofo. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I believe in Prince Obidike. Yes. Mana. Prince mm. Obidike. You all know now, when a chicken goes to a place he hasn't been before, he stands with one leg. Why I'm saying there's a problem is because Ichi Ugobuzwe has more supporters than we do. So we have to plan strategically, short term, long term, and otherwise. Mm. See, they will never go for the offer of an Enugu because that is where their problem starts. That is their failure. Wait, 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 wait. Which offer are you talking about? Is it the one that is already contaminated? Oh, yeah. It's contaminated now. Are you not aware? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. <laughs> wait. Yeah, yeah. What do you mean by contaminated? I never knew Ichigo Buzo would go this far. To spite a king is one thing, but to spite the orphanage is another. Um, we gathered that they are planning to produce another offer for the man they plan to make their king. Produce an offer? But how can they do that? Nobody produces an offer. Nobody. We have to focus on how to stop them. We have to we, we have to stop this madness now. Nika, what do we do? Do we fight them? If we must, yes! Yes! No. Nobody fights anyone. Well, we, we still have to stop them. If, if, if we can't fight them, then there must be another way around it. The gods will fight for themselves, Oyenka. The gods sometimes use people to fight for themselves, so be the case. Well? I still maintain my ground. Nobody fights anyone. That is not what my father wanted. You see, we will sit and watch events unfold. We will see where this will lead us to. Uh, by the way, it is four days already. And I shall return to the shrine to, to get your phone. You are a wise man, Prince Obirike. And I believe that your wisdom will bring us victory. So long as you can go to the shrine, bring the Ofo and Enugu. You remain the heir to the throne of an Enugu. And nobody will take it away from you. Nobody! What is the meaning of this? You better start talking because I'm not in job this office. What do you want? Same question I was about asking you. What do you want, Jay? You had your chance to ask this question a long time ago. But you failed to ask the question. Why? Because you wanted to follow the footsteps of your evil father. <laughs> the only evil my father did to you was to make marriage simple for our people. Which was against the standards set by the gods. Are you claiming you don't know? Jay, you alleged that the offer of our kingdom, this land, has been contaminated. I am not just a legend. For even the birds of the air know that that sacred offer of our Nenugu kingdom, which is in the palace where you came from, has been contaminated. <laughs> you are claiming you don't know? <laughs> Very well, Inche. So that means it will be needless for us to ask you to swear before the offer. Let me ask you this question. Would you also allege that the shrine has been contaminated? What? You know, Will you be willing to raise your hands and swear before the shrine that you are not doing this for your selfish gains? Obidike, you are only a riffraff. And I should not be talking with a character like you. Now if you don't mind, get out of my compound. Enche, you are fighting this because you wish to continue having goats, cows, 
wrappers and all other material things. Can't you see? Can't you see how superficial you are? Wait. You mean you came into my compound to insult me? No. I didn't come to insult you. I came to tell you that the all four is my possession. What what and, 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 and what is that supposed to mean? Who cares? What you have in your possession? What you are holding on to is not the all four. You are just holding rubbish that is contaminated. Get out of my compound. <laughs> I'll leave. But time shall tell. Time shall tell. But before then, you still have the chance to embrace peace, goodness, and truth before evil consumes you. <laughs> Look at the fool that is talking about evil. When you're already wallowing in evil. Look at his face. You came to tell me that you're holding on to your four. Nonsense. The spirit of the offer is in this land. Whatever thing you are holding is nonsense. See, so you, you, you are with your offer. Spread yourself as you are holding your offer. Who told you you have the offer? Get out! The only reason why there is chaos and division in this kingdom is because the king has the interests of the young boys at heart. Isn't it? Yeah, of yes, course. Yes. 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 So right. Does that right, not make the ones that hate the concept of this change, enemies. Enemies! Yes. Oh, enemies! So what I was saying? Wait, wait, wait. They told us that the gods are against the change. And that was why they killed the king. The gods! The gods did not kill the king. Yes. Anyone the gods killed cannot appear in dreams and visions. But the king appeared to Buchi in his dream. Mm. Mm. So, who are we going to ask? That is true. I am married to the princess. As such, I am expected to protect the royal family. Before the king appeared to me, I was drifting to the other side. Yes, I was driven to the other side, but now I know better. You it's of our land. I have one question yeah? to ask. What about the so-called contaminated offer? Oh. And what contaminated it? Bam, bam, bam. Yes. Good question. Bam. 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 Bam that your prince has in his possession what contaminated it? I guess <laughs> he has no answer to that oh. question. <laughs> um, but the offer, the offer, the offer was never and is not contaminated. Yeah, it's, not, it's not contaminated. Yeah, it's not contaminated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who told you that? Who told you that? Who told you that? Do not allow anybody to deceive you. We have not come here to ascend west mm -hmm. with you. Because both of you are rich. Yes. Yes. I expect everybody here gathered to bow before the new king of this kingdom that will lead us to the promised land. Mm. Oh. What, what, what new king? Hey, 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 you don't open your mouth and speak foul. Before a man that is already holding the offer of our Nenuku, look at the phone in his hand. <laughs> so when you want to speak, you speak with respect. Standing here before all of us. Is as a woman careful one. This man here is a king. We have already crowned last night. Yeah. Yes. 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 He is the one that will lead this kingdom to prosperity, to justice, and to fairness. Yeah, bow before your king, everybody. Yeah. <laughs> You have the offer of Anenugu with you. Then you have all of us here. Mm. You made a decision. 
to allow the gods fight for themselves. At a point, I did not see reasons with you, Obidike. But sincerely, now I do. And we are all with you on this. Exactly. Yes. And as far as we are concerned, eh? you remain the heir to the throne of an Enugu. Honestly, I'm short of words. I don't know what to say. Thank you for believing in me. Thank you for believing in my father, your late king. Thank you for standing with the truth. Be rest assured, you are on the right path. For I have consulted several men of the gods and they assured me that my father did nothing wrong by the gods. Of course, he did nothing wrong. As I'm here, I don't know what tomorrow brings, but I can only hope that it gets better. It will be better for all of us. So all I'm going to do is to be strong and steadfast. Mm -hmm. And I want each and every one of you to do the same. <laughs> My prince, we all are strong. Eh? Let me speak for myself. I am strong. I am strong. I may be well cool, but I am strong. Mm -hmm. eh? Everybody is crying the cry of his family. I need to tell you something, my prince. I have been wondering for a very long time now. Can anyone Take a bride at this time. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> ah, I'm serious. So. <laughs> because, <laughs> because this time is a, it's a critical time. It is when mosquitoes start sucking on a man's scrotum. Eh? That is when he will know that you cannot solve every problem with violence. Of all things, woman is your problem right now. <laughs> I'm about to lose my advice. It's okay. It's okay. I will give you an answer to your question. Hmm? Well, every man in Anna in Lugo can take his bride hmm. provided that you are in agreement with the family of your bride <laughs> you should take this time is critical <laughs> is this the man i married <laughs> internally hey. internally he is but i don't know about the physical aspect hey <laughs> hey the gods are happy with us God blessed us in such a short period of time. Wait until you see the new hut I paid them to build for us. High roof and very spacious. You are joking! <laughs> I am not. <laughs> I, am not I am not joking. As we speak now, they are still building the hut. But anyway, let's talk about that one later. How is the mm. prince and the kingdom since I left him? <sighs> is someone going to talk to me? What? The situation, I'm afraid, is really bad. It is worse than before. It is not getting better. Ichie Ugobuzu and Ko are winning others to their side. Don't forget to say how they are doing that. But Apuchi, they are forcing everybody to submit to their new king. Anybody that fails to do that and calls Prince Obidike king will be flogged by the talks they work with. What? Mm -hmm. Has it gone that bad? They are not afraid so. Take. Thank you, but I can't accept it. You are going to reject Kola in my house? Why? 
Ej, you should know that I'm not here for courtesy visit. Actually, I, I thought you were here for one. And that's why I'll find you cooler. Well, I look at you. Look at how wonderful you have become. How gorgeous you look. I heard of how luck has smiled on you, and I, I, I felt very excited and very happy. How you have become a very powerful man, and I, I actually called you here to remind you that I am actually the masquerade that is behind everything. <laughs> how do you mean? You don't need any issues here to tell you that if not that I moved you to go to the palace to make that proposal in the first place, you wouldn't have found yourself where you are today. Why are you claiming you don't know? <laughs> maybe you're right, but... No, no, no. You don't need to say maybe because you know that everything... I am the one that is in charge. Listen to me, Bushi. I called you because I... I have come to the conclusion that the time has come for you to start paying for the luck I brought your way. Not that you supported the marriage. But what can I do for you? <clears throat> okay. As a man who is now the man in money, I am telling you that I need some money to execute some of the plans that I have in place. To kick Obidike out of that palace so that uh, as the Omen Kaflo Nanya can move in. Don't look at me as if you don't know what I am saying. Obidike should no longer be in that palace for the people have rejected him. But because he is still illegally holding on to the ancient and the sacred of all of our Anenubu, he wouldn't want to leave that place. But if you give me this money I am asking you to give me now, I will execute that plan and he will leave that palace whether he likes it or not. You don't take me for a fool, do you? No, of course. <laughs> you are not a fool now. You, you used to be a fool but not anymore. <laughs> Poverty has been banished from your life and foolishness got banished with the poverty. Now you are a man in money and uh, you are a wise man. <laughs> then how do you expect me to work against the family that gave me a princess when I was nobody? Hold on. This useless question you ask now, is this for me? I should answer you. Each year, each year this has to stop. Please. I've heard how you and, and those talks are maltreating people. And all this has to stop. Listen to me. The talks you are talking about, they are part of the structures we have set up to control this land. Every land has to be controlled. And let me surprise you. You may end up being the one that will sit on that throne, finally, because you have money. Stop. And listen. Men like you that have money are the people that should be sitting on thrones. It is no, hold on. Don't rush me. And the process of you sitting on that throne will start with you giving me this money that I wanted to give me. So can you ask me how much? Ichi, stop this. You have to stop this. What do you take me for? Ichi, a power monger, a selfish power monger like you. Maybe I, 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 I shouldn't have come Hold on, here. You are opening your eyes for me. You, Bushi. Why are you standing as if you have a lot of options? You should shut up because you don't have any option. Let me tell you something that you don't know. Maybe I should remind you. You have to ask me how much and you have to go and arrange this money. Because if you fail to arrange the money that I'm telling you about, then I'm going to sit your wife down and tell her how I moved you for you to come to the palace to make marriage proposal to her. You know, this has been our age, our secret for a very long time and I think it's heavy in my heart. If you are going to be very stupid you not know, to ask me how much you are going to pay, then I am going to let it out without any apology. Ichi, I have seen how heavy this secret is in your heart. Ichi, please do let it out. At least this will confirm. What I've already told my wife. I am aware that you are the ones that made me king. I shall rule according to your guide and instruction. 
What is going on? Hey! You check a bozo! Ah ah! Hey! What is going on? You check a According to what I had, they were all in a meeting. All of a sudden, he collapsed on the so called throne and died. Mm. Honestly, I wasn't expecting this to happen so soon. I pity the young man who allowed them to use him. I learned he was a manufacturer of gunpowder. And he had customers from all over the place. So obviously he was rich. So, they went for his money. Well, that the man died is not the problem we have on ground. Certainly not. But maybe his death will serve as a lesson to all of them. I am even so glad it happened in their presence. Otherwise, they would have claimed that we had a hand in his death. Because you know that the evil ones are always the first to point an accusing finger at others. Listen, my people. Maybe we should surrender. Never. Ah. Did you say never? I see no end to this. That is because you are very myopic. So I am now myopic. So that is how you say it. I am now myopic, Ije. That is the only reason you will say you will see no, no end to this. How could you say that? And that is equally the reason why I did not see that all this will end us in doom at last. I am living. As you behave, stop behaving like a, a child. You don't need to live now. Wait. Am I the only one that witnessed that strength death? Am I? As we did. He died that way because he was weak. We should have known that. Tell him that. Speak to him some more. Okay, okay. L let it be that I'm weak. Let it be that I'm weak. So I choose to live. Because I don't intend to die just like that. And let me tell all of you. If anything good comes out of this at the end, then congratulations to all of you in advance. Listen, let him go. He is going to regret this. Action please. And let me tell us something. He will eventually come back. Unfortunately, by the time he does, there shall be no space to accommodate him. My elders, Gobuzu, we need to find out the reason why he died that way. If not, I am living too. You said what? You had me. Rebels. I am surprised that it took the death of a man for you to realize that what you were supporting was evil. My prince, I've thought about that myself. And I still cannot explain why I, I went that far. I cannot, my prince. You better go and tell them that evil kills. And if they don't denounce evil, they shall all die in the same way. I don't know why I have these feelings that you are not genuine. My prince, I'm genuine. I am with you. 
the future king of Anenugu. The future king of Anenugu. The custodian of the one and only two of four. I am with you, my prince. I am. There must be an explanation to all this. First, my king died, then Azibike left and went to pay his allegiance to Obidike. And now the use of this line will no longer listen to me anymore. There must be an answer to all this and I'm getting it today. I paid that Boroka everything he required of me, so why is he not keeping his own part of the promise? What do you mean by Adobe? Did she go to farm with us? We, we left her in the farm, did we? No, we did not. Where, where, uh, Lieutenant, have you started working with? Were you not the person that sent her back to her people? No, father, I did not. No, no, I didn't. You did? No, I... You did? Did I? You did? No, you sent her back to her I people. Don't, no, she's my wife! I need to take her back and she's my... Adobe! Hey! He was not at this sort. I am just coming from there. How could he just disappear like that? How? My brother, Richie Meleza, I don't know about you, but I can feel that some things are falling apart for us. How do you mean? Just understand it that things are falling apart. Are you not the shrine of Obo Tolopo of our kingdom? The age long shrine of our ancestors, Obo Tolopo. <laughs> I hate light. And I hate change. So why will anybody impose change on me? <laughs> where will anybody impose change on me? Anyone trying to impose light on me? <laughs> I have scattered the sheriff of Otrobo. Nothing will happen. I am the man in charge. <laughs> Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Look at this. Look at this.
What is wrong with you? <laughs> He looks crazy to me. Look at her. Adobe. No, Adobe, are you still so blind that you cannot see? Look at her. You went and brought a man that paid in Nwego as your bride price. And you believed you were married. No, look at yourself. As you are standing there looking like me. Looking at me like a witchcraft, like a witch. Look at look at yourself. Are you married now? No, 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 no. Close your mouth! Look at, look at, look at how deep, look at how deep your mouth is. You're looking at me. Are you married now? <laughs> you are not married. And nobody is married. I am the one that is married already. Get out. Get out of my face. Help! Help! I knew it. I knew it. I, I, I knew something wasn't right. I knew it. Right? I knew it. I knew it! I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Something overtook me. My father told me I sent you back to your people. I can't believe it. And I never did. And I never did. And please, join me to my father's house, to our compound. Come with me, please. You are my wife. Yes, you are. You are my wife. My one and only. You make me shy with that look. I'm sorry. It wasn't intentional. Okay. So, can you please tell me why you called me out here this night? Do not misunderstand me, my prince. I am actually standing here with you because you are the prince. And I am certain people will not read meaning into this if they see us. Oh. Have you heard what eventually became of Nchiyoko Buswo? That evil man that practically rose against my father and challenged the gods? I don't get it, my prince. Did you actually call me out here this night to tell me about that man? Not really. I just want you to know that it's in the past now. <laughs> and I am moving ahead. <laughs> Bessa, <laughs> those dark ages are over. Mm. And we as a people are moving ahead. Yes. And for that, I am very happy. <laughs> <laughs> and I ask myself, can a man be truly happy? without a woman by his side. My dear. My queen. You see, I have looked around and I eventually realized that you are the only one that comes to mind. And as we move on as a people, I want you to be by my side. I want you to be my wife. What? Yes. You heard me right there. Please. Please. Something keeps telling me that you are the one meant for me. Please. Please be my wife and together we will create a new face for our kingdom.
Oh, oh, one, one. When I look into the sky, I see hope. And I look into the faces of our people, I see hope as well. When I look around, I see a new kingdom. Surely, today is a special day. A very great day indeed. A day that we should feel very, very happy being citizens of this kingdom. And finally, when I look into the faces of our new king and his wife, I see the gods. I see our ancestors speaking to us, telling us that we are saved and we will forever remain saved. Who says darkness is better than light? And who says darkness will forever prevail over light? I am happy that this day came. A day that puts to an end the works of darkness and those against positive change in our kingdom. I don't have anything to add to that which has always been. So I will continue from where my good father left off. And do you know what that means? Tell us. Ibe, tell us. We are all here. Good. Why you? Good. Tell us. Right. It means marriage will forever be affordable for the people of Anainu. And so shall it be to the end of time. Thank you.